Hey guys, this is Joseph over at Synergy 17 and today um, I want to show you a video on how to make a little tool or a little um, accessory that can help you with um, while cutting um, wood or things that are warped. So for example, on this piece of wood I have here a little eighth inch piece of uh, Baltic birch. It's got a it's got a nice, well it's not nice, but it's got a bow to it. And um, what happens is I want to cut it, but I have this uh, because I have this bow in it, the uh, the laser uh, has a different height between here, here, and here. So what I really like is I like this to be laid down flat. And um, on some things you can use something heavy to hold it down to set on it, but um, what happens is if you put something heavy here, uh, you might want to cut there and it's in the way. So we need a way of clamping down the sides here. And um, I don't know about other laser engravers, but this honeycomb table doesn't give us a lot of uh, anywhere to kind of hinge it to it. So I'm going to show you what I built to solve this problem for myself. Okay, so I'm going to pause here, switch over to the parts you need, and then we'll switch back and show you how it works. Okay, here's all the parts you need to build this. <clears throat> You're going to need... Um, one of these here, which is, you can buy them at Lowe's and Home Depot. They hold mirrors onto the wall. Uh, you put the screw in here and the mirror usually slides this up against this and the mirror uh, holds the mirror. You're going to need a washer. You're going to need uh, some springs, like this. And you're going to need, um, this is a little collet type thing. It slides over and it's got a lock nut right here. And I just use an Allen wrench to screw it down to hold it in there. And then this right here is part of a coat hanger and uh, what you want to do is you want to cut to size how big your uh, honeycomb table is, how, how long you need it and then I bent with the needle nose pliers this right here just to catch it so I'm gonna, this is basically going to go down and hook onto the bottom of the um, honeycomb so it can't come out and the way this, you assemble this is pretty simple I'm going to put this piece right over here, this can slide out this way, it's okay and then you're going to put the spring on here and you're going to put your washer on here and then you're going to put this over here and you're going to lock it down so it really depends if you need only if you have a small honeycomb table and you only need this much then put it up here if you need a longer piece then put it up higher and then use your allen wrench to tighten it up and so the way it works is this this is going to and you can make your spring as long as much tension as you need so what's going to happen is you're going to push this down into the uh, honeycomb table and as you push it down it's eventually this part is going to hold the wood and then this tension on the spring pushes this down to hold the wood down and this will catch and hold so basically it's going to be like this and this is holding this is pressing against the bottom of the honeycomb table and this is pressing on the wood to hold it down and when you want to release it you just push it down unhook this and it slides up so I'll show you how it works when I put the piece of wood back in okay now that they're made uh, I put the one in over here already and um, I'm gonna turn that to hold it here and I'll show you how I put this one in here so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna push this down and this spring is going to help hold the pressure on it but allow this to go down to hook onto the bottom of the, um, the honeycomb. So just like that it snaps right in and uh, you can see that now it's holding the wood down there's no more I mean I have a little bit right here in the middle but mostly all around I could put more over here if I need to or another one on the side but it's actually holding my wood more flat now so that way when I cut it I don't have a high spot and low spot and it's pretty easy. I can turn these if I need to switch my wood out and put in another piece and just get in there and turn this back and it holds it in there pretty good. So and that's it. That's how you do it. So pop this back out and that's it. So you can make the hook as uh, any way you need it to hold it in. You know you can make it more of a J hook or just like this to catch underneath it. So pretty easy little thing to make and pretty cheap.